All right, people, welcome back to um, a live action version of Conquer and Commander. Um, it's been a little while since I've been on, and I'm going to go ahead and bust out a new deck for you, Half Dane. This thing isn't really um, battle tested yet. I've played like three games with it, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Before I go any further, however, I want to give you the heads up. I'm expecting a phone call from my wife, and I might have to bail, <laughs> or at least leave the recording. And I'll I'll, I'll just keep I'll keep uh, playing until uh, I get off the phone or something like that. So sorry about that. But anyways, um, do I want a mulligan? Uh, this isn't the best hand. I mean, I can get my off color colors here and hope to draw into another. I'll keep it. What the heck? I don't know. So anyways, this is a deck that um, came about. It's Half Dane. It's basically Shapeshifter Tribal. And um, I put this together based on a recommendation from somebody, um, one of my old articles at Pure MTGO. And uh, I thought it would be interesting, especially with the new Legend rule be being in play right now. Um, with the idea being that I can, uh, instead of blowing up people's uh, legendary creatures... I can just copy them, uh, but unfortunately, none of these guys are really good for me, other than Mariki here. Uh, Mariki is piloted by my boy Royal Al right here, and uh, uh, she can steal stuff and sometimes sacrifices them, sometimes not. This is just a controlling Esper deck. Um, oh, hey, look at that! See, I get the land I want. Uh, I would like some either card draw or, or artifact excel right now, but I have a feeling I'm not going to get either for a little bit. Um, we'll take a quick look at what's in the deck for people that are interested in. This thing's kind of a work in progress right now. Um, well, this isn't very good for you. Whatever. Um, so basically a shapeshifter tribal with some control elements. Uh, the games that I've played with it so far, it's been a lot more controlling than I really want it to be. I wanted it to be a little more, like, aggro. But, you know, just with the Esper colors, it doesn't really work out like that. And uh, so this leads to some long, drawn-out games. Uh, the, my opponents here are Borborygmus Enraged. I've seen him a couple times recently. He's going to ramp a lot of uh, lands out and go nuts. And then Riku, who uh, usually ramps and then starts copying fat spells. So... Um, we'll see how this goes. I've heard you guys, you know, asking where the heck have I been, what have I been doing, blah, blah. And, uh, I've just been getting my ass kicked at work. There's really no, no ways around that whole thing. Um, you know, I, I haven't been able to actually, uh, play <laughs> for like the past month. I mean, I've been on a little bit the past week. But uh, even that, I haven't really um, done as much as I wanted to. So uh, this this is a deck that I've been working on a little bit. There's Mariki coming out. Um, and the uh, there's Rhystic Study. That's going to help me draw some cards. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I've been working on this. I've been working on uh, a Grim Grin deck a little bit. I haven't really played that. And a Voral deck. Hopefully all those guys are going to be making it to um, making it to prime time here. And uh, we'll see how... Uh... Dude, there's a dog barking outside. What the heck? Um, anyhow... Uh, the, but those are the three that, uh, <laughs> shh, don't tell them to pay. Um, so anyhow, um, this deck, you know, I ought to just pull it up on the deck editor while we're screwing around here. Come on. Well, that's the Grimmergan deck. You guys don't look, get to look at that just yet. Sure, yes. Let's look at Half Day. We'll look at Half Day when it's, uh, 
once I get another break here. So another land. Um, I could clone Mariki, uh, but all it's going to do is get stolen by Mariki and they'll both die. I guess I could throw uh, Withered Wretch out there. Or I could throw Half Dane out there, but he'll just become a 1-1. One -one. So I'm just going to sit back and do nothing. Uh, this deck doesn't have a whole lot of counter spells. I think it's only got one. It's got Mana Drain. Um, and the uh, mostly it's Pinpoint Control. Uh, a lot of pinpoint uh, blowing up stuff with a very minor like I've got two big fat guys here, a Sphinx of the Steel Wind and uh, a Chroma just for stuff like um, Body Double and Kieran Wanderer and I can um, put them in there with like Buried Alive and stuff like that uh, so we'll see what happens here so I'm using time reversal instead of time spiral just because I wanted to bring my curve down a little bit. I don't know if the one mana is going to make too much of a difference or not. Um, we'll see. See, Rhystic Study is really good in the early game because people don't really like, you know, holding off and paying the extra one mana. I'm hoping to draw something more. But these guys, the Borborygmos player is uh, playing smart and paying the mana. Um... So, you can usually tell which people are the more impatient ones. Um, I'm going to put always yes and always yield. Oh. Darn you. That's alright. Al knows what he's doing too. And like, I get pissed off when people don't pay the Rhystic Study tax and when somebody else is playing playing it too, so that's perfectly acceptable. I mean, it's basically just adding a. It's it's like Grand Arbiter August on the Fourth is out there for a lot of the the better slash smarter slash more um, patient players. So, anyways, like I was saying, there's a there's a real minor like um, not really recursion element, but like graveyard element. So I, I did have Karmic Guide in here um, to deal, you know, get the stuff that I dump in my graveyard out. I'm hoping that I didn't just get booted. Let's see here. Nope, I'm still connected. So anyhow, um, the last game I played with this deck, I played against Royal Owl with his Mariki uh, deck, and people were copying like their and getting their own versions of Consecrated Sphinx or uh, Shouldered Whis Whispering One, and uh, having multiple Shoulders out there is not the most fun thing in the world. <laughs> but uh, We'll see, uh, you know, and I'm not, I, I'm just not a huge fan of the new legend rule. I'd much rather be able to use clones to blow up legends and stuff like that. I mean, there is something to be said for being able to, like, copy Avacyn and having, have your own. Um, let's see, you there? Um... <laughs> I guess he's not there. I don't know. Uh, Al just got a new puppy. I would look at the uh, the link, but I already looked at it. <laughs> How many pictures are you taking, dude? Yeah, okay, so enter your name here. Looks like he's having either connection problems or he's dropping. Uh, both of which make for really bad live videos. Um, <laughs> uh, 
That's poop. Um, oh, there it is. He lost connection. So now is the waiting game. Um, Uh, Alright, so what else can I tell you about this deck? Um, here's the curve. Here are the stats currently. Like I said, this is still kind of like a work in progress. Uh, 3.35, everything's kind of like weighted in the 3 area. There are 27 creatures, 38 lands. Um, I've got, you know... Okay, so some of the stuff I've gotten here are like Deadeye Navigator so that I can reset my um, clones like Sakashima the um, Sakashima student or uh, the shapeshifter or doppelganger or whatever so it's good in theory at least um, I've also got Revel Arc which is good because a lot of these clones have a real low um, power so uh, I ought to be able to like bring back a shapeshifter and copy with something fat on the board ideally He's still not back yet. Alright. Let's see what else we got here. Time reversal instead of time spiral. There's Karen Wanderer. Body double. Karmic guide, which is always good. Um, Lazev. I'm not sure about him, honestly, because I don't have a lot of ways to, like, keep him out there while blowing up other people's creatures. I mean, I've got a lot of remo removal stuff, like, Path to Exile and Source of Plowshares, but uh, Rite of Replication, of course, Damnation, Metamorph. Oh, keep current color scheme. Um, there's a couple of little value creatures like Shadow Mage Infiltrator, Mirror Entity, the Doppelganger. I don't want to use Doppelganger on my own fatties, um, but that's like a last ditch resort. Uh, Ajani and Jace are the three mana Planeswalkers in here. I did get one game in with this deck where I had Liliana of the Veil vale out, and I was just unimpressed with her in this deck at least. He's still not back yet. Crap. Um, there's Intuition. Uh, that's good for putting stuff in the graveyard. Grim Return. Um, I just wanted to play with a new card. Buried Alive. Uh, and then little bit of mana excel with like Felwar Stone and just card draw with Mystic Remora. So you can see it's like copy stuff that's out there and you know go nuts whatever. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna vote to eject him. Um, so the way that MTGO is set up uh, after 10 minutes of inactivity, uh, you automatically get booted. But honestly, I just don't want to wait that long, especially since I'm um, I'm doing this video. <laughs> and I don't know when the next time I can do this video, a video will be. Uh, but I need both of the other guys to try and boot him as well. Um... So we'll see, uh, okay, Al decided to boot him, so Super, what's his name, has to do it too. Um. Let's see if he does it. So anyhow, uh, I can't say this deck's going to be real good because, you know, it, like, the theme is copying other crap. And I'll be honest, I think after playing this game, this deck, one or two games, it's probably better to uh, steal the stuff. <laughs> um, enchantments are you know, more difficult to deal with than creatures usually. Uh, and when you steal stuff, it's just you're removing it from your opponent's ability to use it. Um, 
So, like I said, this is kind of like a a work in progress, and hopefully I'll be able to like make an actual deck tech video of it once I get it set on how I want it to be, and um, get like some actual games in with it. I'm wondering if this guy. Let's see. I wonder if this guy's even around. Dude, because if this just goes down to like me versus Al, I, I'm he's going to smoke me. <laughs> Crap. Oh, he can't. He says he can't eject him. Okay, so you gotta you gotta type his. In this chat box, this is this is the worst video I, <laughs> I'm probably going to post. <laughs> oh, there we go. He lost due to inaction. 10 minutes, guys. I'm so sorry. That's 10 minutes of you guys staring at the freaking screen. I'm not really getting anything out of it. Oh, God. All right. Well, hopefully, um, um, this part goes a little quicker. Mystical teachings from Mariki. What's he going to search up? Um, return to dust. Oh, he's going to get rid of my risk study. That's poop. Let's just leave that right there so we know... You might end up using it. My study. All right. Draw me something good. Tower of the Magistrate is not that good. See, and this is the thing. I could clone Mariki. She can steal it, and then because of the new reg legend rule, she can, they can keep hers and uh, kill mine. Um, so what I might end up doing is just use uh, Sphinx's Revelation to draw two cards or something uh, before my next turn just because I've got a whole lot of inaction going on right here. Ooh, Jace, nice. Um, the original Jace, the one and only. Is he going to have himself draw first? Probably, yeah. You know, like... Um, when there's no creatures out, I almost always have myself draw first. But if there, uh, there are creatures out, I have everybody else draw first. Uh-oh. What's Al going to do here? It's a lot of mana. Oh, he's going to flash back his teachings. And pay the mana. You know what? Before he goes and gets a counter spell or something, I'm going to draw two cards with the revelation. Of course, if he gets like mind twist or something, I'm going to be super annoyed. Amnesia. Amnesia would be awesome.
Oh, dismantling blow. Just hating on my study. And he's going to do nothing. Let's see. Here we go. Is he going to blow it up now? Yeah, because he's got he's got seven cards in hand, so he's going to want to draw a couple more cards. So there goes my study. Um, let's see here. I mean, there's nothing really in any of the graveyards for me to retch right now. I don't want to clone. I'm one mana away from being able to revoke existence and time reversal, so I'm just going to wait till the next turn. Why didn't you attack Jace? Ah, oh, crap! My god. Disconnected. Wow, this is absolutely the worst video. Every once in a while this does happen to me, like... Magic Online boots me for some unknown, ungodly reason. Usually I'm able to get back on pretty quick, but, um... This is just freaking dumb. Alright, I'm back on. This is dumb. God, I can't believe how open. All right, Al's gone. I'm still here. And that poor Rigmus is gone. Yay! Everybody draws. Alright, so we got Awakening Zone from Riku. This is a really slow game. And, uh, I'm not doing a whole lot here. So, what else can I talk to you guys about? Um, God, work has just been killing me. Let's not talk about work. Uh, I did, okay, well, work hasn't been entirely killing me. I did go to Hawaii for a brief uh, vacation. That was nice. Um, ran around. Hey, look, Crystal Shard, sweet. Um, you know, the kids got to swim in the ocean and got to lay out and get burnt a little bit. And, um, so... Good times. What's he gonna do? He's gonna bribery super critic. Because he's playing Riku, he's gotta have like one or two fat dudes, like a Maelstrom Wanderer or something like that. Uh, and if he does have Maelstrom Wanderer, I can clone him. Ooh, that'll be fun. Come on. Give me something good. You can also revoke existence, the crystal shard, too. Oh, Oracle. I can clone the Oracle, too. I'm fine with that. I mean, Mariki's just going to steal him, but... Let's do it like this. Just because I'd rather. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Now, 
if I was a real control player, I wouldn't like throw the clone out there to copy Oracle, just have Mariki steal him. There's right a replication on the top. I'm gonna get rid of the crystal shard. So he's saying that the Riku deck is like a Planeswalker deck um, where all the creatures are like just small value dudes. <laughs> Al's just <laughs> talking all about the guy's deck. Some people don't like it when you do that, you know? They don't want you to tell people, you know, oh, you bribery me, you're not supposed to tell me. You tell everybody else what's in my deck, but... You know, I don't know. It's pretty much fair game. There's another... Oh, Homeward Path. Look at that. Homeward Path is awesome. It's going to work out real well. Uh, especially for dealing with Mariki. Um, hmm, okay. So now the smart play is for Al to steal my oracle, and the Riku player may decide to just, oh, he's, Al's stealing the oracle back, look at that. I guess stealing my oracle. I mean, my thought was, like, if he doesn't steal... Well, no, I guess, you know what, like, because my thought was, if he stole my oracle uh, and didn't steal the other guys, then there would be no incentive to use the homeward path. But if he does steal the oracle, like he did just now, uh, he is keeping them off one extra mana. Um, so, uh, I don't know. Looks like, sounds like it's probably all right. Oh, and there's, there goes the homeward path. Darn it. Okay. Um, I've got cryptoplasm coming up. Jace is at six. I'm not worried about Jace. Tezzeret's at three. Al has Venser on the top of his library. Or in his hand now. It's just going to be a lot of control dudes, and Venser's going to be bouncing Moldrifter a bunch. I'm probably going to be out gunned mana wise and card draw wise here soon. The spawn goes in front of Oracle. Here's my library. He's bouncing his mole drifter. Oh no, Swords to Plowshares on my clone! That's rough. That really hurts. Um, shoot. That kind of screws my plan a little bit. Right now is when I wish Time Reversal was Time Spiral. I think I'm going to have to make that change. Um, 
Cryptoplasm is a little annoying just because it um, takes a turn before it actually does what it needs to do. I'm going to... One, two, three, four... Let's just do this. What the heck, we're going to draw a crap ton of cards. Oh no, I don't have enough mana. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm way off. Five. I'm. I'm like. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to make a mole drifter. There's a demonic tutor. I don't really feel like using that yet. Um, put that cryptoplasm out there. See if you can copy the oracle. If he survives the turn. See, so now I've got time reversal in my hand, but I'm not going to want to use it until I actually use my demonic tutor. The question is, what do I want a demonic tutor for? Well, really, I I wanted I want to blow up Fencer. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, hope that Al doesn't have a counter spell here and go for Vindicate or something like that. If the cryptoplasm lives long enough, he's going to copy the oracle. Top of Al's library is Ancestral Vision. Vandal Blast targeting Azorius Signet. I like Vandal Blast. Vandal Blast is a good card. There's the counter spell. Please don't draw it. Or at least tap out. Oh, does he have like a. He's got eight cards in hand. He's got to have. Another counter in his hand somewhere. Gosh, if Vencer goes nuts, I'm going to be really. The game's going to be over pretty much. No, oh, Riku. Oh, look at that! Devastation Tide. Wow. Well, I lose my Mole Drifter. But Vencer's reset at least. And we start all over. Al's at 29, I am at 43, and the Riku player is at 40. Vencer, of course, is going to come back out. What I need right now is for Al to tap out so that I can tutor for the Vindicate. He suspends the Ancestral Visions. So that's out there. There's Mariki. And he's leaving up Countermount.
Oh, he's he's losing mana because of the ancient or life because of the ancient tomb. Is why? That's interesting. Oh, got my own ancestral vision. All right, so let's demonic tutor. Oh, my library is a mess. What I want is Vindicate. I'm going to Vindicate Venser. I'm going to Suspend Ancestral Visions. And then... You know what, I'll put the wretch out there. I'll be able to at least get rid of two cards. Oh, well, no, I don't want to do that. Um, Because if he gets stolen by Mariki, gosh. I don't like having to worry about this stuff. Um... No, nope, I'm just going to leave it as is out there. Leave everything out there. And see, that's the... Like, I've played, like, two games with this deck, and the deck just... It can't win, like, out of nowhere, which means that it essentially is becomes like just a slow control deck and I'm not really good with that kind of stuff those kind of decks even See, is there anything on ESPN here? See, Mariki with Manamo is kind of a pain in the butt. There's Manamo. Untap target legendary permanent. I didn't realize how much of his deck here is, uh. Oh, there's Return to Dust. Is, um, foiled here. More exiled stuff. He's gone down to 25. And, I mean, I can't blame him for taking the damage from Ancient Tomb because I'm not putting on pressure and the Riku player is not putting on pressure. Well, there's Jace. Couple more turns, and then my visions will go off. There's my Mole Drifter. Let's see. What you got for me? There's my own Jace. Oh, Grim Return. Um, since there is no other Jace out there. I'm going to put my Jace out. Are there no other creatures out there? That's what I mean. And I'm going to draw another card. There's Austere Command. Hmm. 
gonna have to discard something. I guess I'll discard a chroma and hope that it doesn't get stolen from a graveyard. Then I'll play Karmic Guide next turn. Let's see what happens here. Riku searched up since he's divining top. Is that right? Oh no, he searched up the land. He already had the top. There's Chandra. The old school original Chandra. Oh, mana drain. Kabow. That could be bad. We know Al has a counter spell in his hand, too. So that might come out for my karmic guide. What is this Jace's ultimate? Any number of target players each draws 20 cards. Holy cow. Bonfire of the Damned. Targeting now for two. Oh, stealing my Mole Drifter. No. <laughs> All right. So he's going to get five mana from Mana Drain. Oh, Mind Twister 5. Ouch. Oh, ho, ho, concede. All right, well. That'll make the game shorter. All right, Al, it's you and me, bud. This is not going to be pretty. Because he has the counter spell out there. There's Mariki. Oh, come on. I need him to tap out. He's not going to tap out, though. He's better than that. Um, nope, he's not tapping out. Well, I'm going to go for it. One, two, three, four, five. I guess I gotta pay. Not that it matters if I'm gonna time reversal right after this. And there's the counter. Do I want a time reversal right now? Man. Sure. 
Sure, why not? This is just me playing fast and loose now. Oh, wait, cancel. I forgot. I've still got Jace out there. I'm going to draw a card. It's a swamp. That helps no one. Alright, we're going to just freaking time reversal. Now I'm just... Because we had two players drop already. I don't really... Care anymore. Draw the card. This game is boned anyways. So I got buried alive along with Revelark. Simulacrum, Metamorph, Karmic Guide. He made me dump my uh, Empiric Tutor. Oh, there's Tomeo, sweet. Oh, he tapped down my... My guess is he has another counterspell. If he doesn't have another counterspell, he's got Rhystic Study to draw into a counterspell. Oh my god. So this deck is not a one versus one deck. <laughs> um, Merciless Eviction could get used in this deck. Let's see, what do I want to put in my graveyard? Um, this Sphinx does not have protection from the right colors. A Chroma, however, does. You are definitely going in a Chroma. And then... I guess Mall Drifter. And then you can tell I'm not used to playing this deck. What's last? Sakushima, Lazav, Duplicate. Let's put Duplicate in, why the heck not? I don't mind if this one ultimates, but if this one does, I am screwed. Problem is, he's outracing me in the mana race, too. Um, all right, I'm just going to play into the counter spell because he obviously has one. Uh, yeah, crap, I just hate doing this. Playing and 
into the counter. Likely the one in your hand. There's cryptic command, yep. Alright, fine. Tomb isn't going to help me. So I've got a couple turns before Tamayo goes off. His ancestral visions just went off. Archmage is going to make a very good blocker. Oh, he's attacking with both. That's interesting. Oh, he attacked Jace to kill it. Let's see. I'm going to draw a couple extra cards here. Sacrificing his Archmage to counter my visions. Let's see here. Alright, that's fine. I forgot to put body double in my graveyard. I am a freaking idiot. I'm just wasting. There should be another um, counter spell from him though, so it doesn't really matter.
The problem is, not only has he outdrawn me, he's taxing me and keeping me from playing the stuff I want to play too. And there's the other counter. I've only got one counter spell in this deck, and um, I think that's an issue. The good thing is, I do have Frexian Reclamation, and he is going to run out of counter spells here shortly. The problem is, I don't think I'll be able to force anything through before Tamayo goes into uh, um, Ultimate. Thousand years of elixir is fine. I'm getting attacked with everything, fine. The reclamation can be countered by the archmage, though. Crap. Think, I'm thinking about putting in more fetch lands too. I don't know. Um, I can metamorph the Archmage. But then it's just going to get stolen by Mariki. Well, let's try, th try this. The, pr the other problem is, is that, like, um, the study, like, gives him, uh, like, extra incentive to take closer looks at my cards. <laughs> yeah, there's the Archmage. Um, You know, it's like if uh, if I wanted to, like sometimes you can sneak pa things past people just because they don't even pay attention. But like when you risk when the Ristic studies out there, it's like, oh yeah, I want to draw a card, sure. And uh, hey, what what exactly are you playing there? Oh, I noticed. Um, So that's a little annoying. I'm just going to ramp now. Come on. Does he want to counter this? Because now he's just got tons more cards in hand than I do. Do I have anything I can Snapcaster? So really all I can depend on now is a play mistake from him. Um. And he's just not going to do it.
and I got nothing. Oh well. That's it. I hope you enjoyed that. It, it, like having the two people concede kind of sucked. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's the other counters. All right.